Let go. What's going on, YouTube? It's Chuck T. Uh, coming at you with another episode of The Fake Files. It's been a second time I made a video. As you can see here today, we have a pair of Retro 13s. Um, these are, the Chicago's are my absolutely most favorite 13s by far. When they first dropped a couple years back, uh, it wasn't much hype surrounding them. I got about like three pairs of them, honestly. And over the years, just kind of sold them off. And so, to kind of explain to you how I got this pair, usually I get my get my fakes just for like 20 bucks off one of my boys out in out in Atlanta. And whatever, 20 bucks is nothing for a pair of fakes. No biggie there to make the videos for y'all. This pair here, I actually bought them off of eBay. The guy had them listed 1,000% authentic. Do had 202 ratings, 100% 100 feedback. He had some some decent pictures of the shoe, but it wasn't not like a whole bunch of pictures. But I was like, okay, do had 202 ratings, 100 feedback. I'm not gonna trip. Let me take a chance on him, and I got fucked in the story. But yeah, I'm make the video on him. I already filed a case dealing with that, so I should get my money back in the next few days. But just starting out, first thing when I pulled the shoes out the box, the first thing that caught my attention was just the quality in general. As you can see right here around the bottom, uh. I'm not sure if it's glue or just some kind of white material just kind of sticking out there. That's off. The bottom of both of the shoes are just, look at the back right there. Just like, you can tell what the sole was, why they painted it and this and this and that and that, whatever. You can see that over the whole bottom. The carbon fiber on there, just not quite right. The Jordan logo actually really really isn't that bad. If you just saw the Jordan logo, you might not really think much of it. Um, another another thing I noticed, of course, is the very back here. That's supposed the back part right there is supposed to be rounded, not all boxed and botched and everything like that. At first, when I pulled them out, I was like, okay, like, like I'm hoping they real, but I'm like, maybe this is just a an early variant of the shoe, like a sample pair or something. That he might have got earlier. Try to give him the benefit of the doubt. The more I looked at him, I'm like, hell no. Nah. Check the SKU number. That SKU number right there. If I can focus it in a little bit. That one right there is actually for um the gray toe 13. So SKU number off. The tongue of the shoe. The tongue on the 13 is naturally a little bit big. But it's not that big. Like this one is bigger than this one. And then second off, it has like no padding whatsoever as well. And the Jumpman logo, the 23 on the on the inside of there is freaking huge. It's not supposed to be, be quite that big. And you can like barely even tell what's in there, honestly. It just kind of looks all fuzzy and messed up. I don't know if y'all can see that. But it's just all messed up in there. Um, on the inside, he said he barely, barely wore them or whatever. So, you can see the Jordan sign was peeling off a little bit. Usually on fakes, the Jordan sign is gone, like after one wear. So, that's surprising that even the Jordan sign is, is even showing in there. But whatever, as you can see in that shoe as well. But pretty much, uh, I guess, uh, long story short, don't trust anyone's uh, rating on eBay. Ask more questions. Don't get messed over. And even when I was looking at the pictures, really the pictures, I guess just the angles he took them at and the distance he took them at, they really didn't look that bad. But, as you can see, when you get them in hand, it's pretty easy to tell. That's one thing I hate about eBay on the cool. Like, I love eBay because it gives you a way to find stuff for cheaper, the buyer to make some money. I mean, the seller to make some money and the buyer to, of course, get what they're looking for. But, yeah. This is the second time I got messed over on eBay. I've made a lot of purchases off of there, but this is the second time I've got messed over. As you can see, the shoe even, it kind of is shaped a little bit funny as well. Just a tad bit. Not, just a little bit off. But yeah, that is my fake look at the fake files for the Chicago 13s. If you're on eBay, watch out. Of course, as soon as I got these, first thing I did was file the case for them. So hopefully within the next uh, five days, 
probably take longer than that because the money by itself take like three days to come back to the account and they give you like another three days for the buyer to reply back to you. But whatever, hopefully in about another week and a half, two weeks I have my money back. Kind of a long time to be waiting for 200 bucks. The dude even threw in um, a, a Chicago Bulls jacket even in there as well. But whatever, I'm sending it back to him anyways. But don't get messed over. If you're on eBay, be careful. If you do happen to get anything fake, file a claim real quick. Get them in check, get your money back. But yeah, that's my look at the Jordan 13 Retros. Fake files, Chuck T closing out. Deuces. The sky's falling, the wind is calling, stand for something or die in the morning. Section 80, high power.